clothes instead of folding them but make that hack much more better by putting your roll clothes into a Ziploc bag and then close it and then leave a little space so you can put your straw yes a straw put it in yes daddy put it in no seriously daddy do it okay suck Suck the air out. And see, no more air and it doesn't take a lot of space. So fill your suitcases with your clothes like that. Trust me, you have more space so you can bring more snacks back to me. Instead of bringing your big old bottles, like shampoo bottles, moisturizer bottles, whatever big bottles, just your samples. They're free. And they'll make your life so much more easier. Like, I go to Sephora and I always ask for samples. And I have a lot now. And I just give them away. Like I'm Santa Claus. Like, I stack on samples. Like, girl, look at rain. Look at rain. Or just use those. Those are travel size containers that you're allowed to bring. They're TSA approved. I always put my iPhone in a Ziploc bag. Because I can still use it. Like these? Does it work? Yes, it does. <laughs> what if it didn't work? That would be such foul. But yeah, it will help um, protect it against sand and water. Because you know sand can actually enter your camera phone, so no more selfie for you if you don't do this trick. To prevent this situation, reaching for my razor. Oh no, I've cut myself. Razor, big clip. Don't forget to bring your portable charger for your phone so you can Instagram all day every day. Don't forget to bring plastic bags in your suitcase so you can put all your dirty and wet clothes in it so you don't mix up everything and becomes disgusting. Put a fabric softener in your suitcase to keep your clothes smelling fresh and it will help with the humidity and can use this if your hair is oily too. True. It's true. It's very true. Wear your biggest and heaviest clothes on you on the airplane because it will save much more space in your suitcase. You can just bring them in your carry-on bag too if you're too hot. To help organize all your chargers, put them all in a glass case so you will know where they are because they will be in the same spot. So to avoid breaking my powders, what I like to do is that I put a cotton swab pan, whatever this is called, in it, so it won't break. Skip your jet lag problems by using your phone, whatever device that you use to look at the time, and change the time to the time of your real life time. So example, I live in Montreal and it's 9 p.m. I'm going to change it to 9 p.m. even if it's 8 a.m. where I am right now. Change it two days before you actually land on your final destination so you have time to adapt. This was really hard to explain. If you don't understand, I'm sorry. It's like my 40th time filming this part. Love yours. No such thing.